guys, we're standing aboard an HCB 42 Siesta. We're gonna take you on a quick tour of this boat, starting at the 450Rs by Mercury Racing. These are unmarked, but they are 450s. Uh, this is a 24,000 pound boat, and they push, they push it at around 70 miles an hour. Cruising speed, optimal cruise is actually 52, so quite fast. Um, and they burn around 0.7 miles per gallon at that speed. So quite good considering the amount of power you're getting on the 450s and the amount of weight you're pushing around here. Now these are two 40 gallon live wells. Very nice, pressurized obviously. These guys use frigid rigid, I believe. Inside their fish boxes and outside with these removable seated ones, like this one has a pad here. So these can completely come out, throw your drinks in and out, makes it easy. But as double down as seats. Nice retractable bench here. Get it out of the way. It's very nice to not have a big piece which you have to pull out and throw on the dock. I'll take a look at this huge bilge. Sea Keeper 3 on this one. Great access. You even have a little, seems to be, well, actually that's your staircase off the side, but you can almost use that to get down in here. All your battery switches are down there and you can fit four guys in here, no problem. It's huge. Uh, popping two the fish boxes. These are equipped with chill plates. So you need very little ice, if no ice at all, to keep things cold in here, which is nice for long trips where ice, ice is uh, scarce. Here you have like a summer kitchen, I would say. Two starboard pieces used as a cutting board. Really nice. Set up here for entertaining. Refrigerator down the center. Storage on both sides of this thing. So you have a sink here, some additional storage as well. Something cool on this boat in particular on the hard top, you actually have shower heads integrated into the piping there. And they're on. So really cool, but it looks like you can't even tell it's there. Uh, they actually pointed it out. If not, we wouldn't have even seen it. So nice work by these guys. We'll walk our way forward. This is a dual row seating boat. A lot of storage here. Nice large bench seat. Doesn't get much more comfortable on a boat than, than this position. So you can put two or three people here, no problem. Then you got your captain's chairs up front, which are adjustable. And I believe you can even spin these around if you want to have you know, a conversation with five or six people in this area. Huge oversized hard top. Very comfortable in here. This is elevated, which is great for us guys that are not exactly 6'8". Um, so the visibility is phenomenal. You see well over the bow. Um, you can be a foot shorter than me and still see over this uh, console space. So um, really nice Garmin electronics throughout this one. Very simple skyhook joystick. Uh, you got your VHF up there and your vessel view. So easy to see up here, which is nice. Instead of jamming everything into the console, they keep this clean and utilize that space a little bit, which is which is cool. Some additional storage. Uh, you got your switch panel tucked away there. So a little protection from the elements as well. Something these guys do at HEB, which is nice as well as these frigid ridges they stick in here. These things hold ice just about as good or better than anything on the market today. So it's great to have a spot to just stick your drinks and food, be able to divide everything up and not have to just jam it all into one cooler. So this one has a nice forward lounger up here, extremely comfortable. The space underneath for this one um, is part of the console cabin, which we'll show you in a second. So this is a real comfortable space as well. And this whole area here you can see is built for entertaining. This is removable. So you can leave this whole sunbed or open that up, take these pads off, use this as a dining area, which is also extremely nice. We won't open the hatch underneath because we don't want to remove all this, but you can see you have extremely large insulated coolers, port and starboard here also. And then you got actually one down here as well. So excellent storage in this forward seating area. You got your windlass up at the bow. Let's work our way back. Take a look at the console cabin. Now this is a great space. Let's see if we can see. see this here. Really nice kind of teak wood finishes. Of, I'm not sure if this is storage. You got a TV here. You got you know cabinets with drawers everywhere. Plenty of storage. You have your private head, so you can enclose this. There's a shower in here. Stand up height is is great. Close to seven feet, I would say. 
And this area as well, it's set up as a kind of a couch. You can set this up as a full berth as well, sleep here comfortably, and you can see the headroom here is fantastic. A lot of natural light coming in through these windows. And right here, you got your switch panel, battery switches, um, all that stuff here, bow thruster, windless, house one, house two. Very comfortable, easy to get to, I believe. Let's see what's under this thing. All right, we got just some rigging under there. We won't get into that. Really nice cabin space for a 42 footer. A lot of room, more frigid rigids here. Take a look, the space is great to keep you out of the out of the elements. Love the oversized hardtop when you're, you know, eating this sun over, you know, day in and day out. It's great to be able to get out of the way and into the shade. So you have USB ports right there, kind of charge your, your phones, any sort of devices you want to connect there. Overall beautiful boat, an excellent pairing with the quad 450Rs, really nothing better for this boat, this amount of weight, that kind of power, you feel the difference, not just out of the hole, but mid-range as well, you know, this, those engines will sit you down when you're doing 30 to 50 miles an hour, you know, going from 30 to 50, so pushing 24,000 pounds at 70 miles an hour is definitely not easy, and these are, you know, great engines to do that, so we want to thank HCB for the time to let us grab their boat here and do a walkthrough for you guys if you enjoyed that or find value in these walk walkthroughs do us a favor and subscribe we would appreciate that share it with your friends and family follow us on instagram facebook tiktok anywhere else you find center consoles only thank you and we'll see you again soon